Hey friends, today we are hanging out in Epcot, but first we're going to the newest restaurant in Walt Disney World for breakfast, the Cake Bake Shop. I am so excited. I came here for opening day and tried the lunch and dinner, but I wanted to come back and try the breakfast and today's the day. So I'm going to make a video and share my experiences with you and let you know what I think of the restaurant. And then we're going to walk over to World Showcase, ride some rides, eat some food and have a beautiful Epcot kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. It is a beautiful morning here at the Boardwalk Resort. Temperatures are in the low 60s. That's why I'm wearing a hoodie today. And it's awesome to see that the Boardwalk is already decorated for Christmas. They have their tree up, they have a bunch of garland, and I'm excited to see what the Christmas decorations look at uh, Cake Bake. The last time I ate here at the Cake Bake Shop, it was for opening day and I had dinner. And I remember looking out and seeing all of the decorations that they had inside the restaurant. And I was like, wow, it's very festive in here. And I knew I wanted to come back and try their breakfast eventually. It just happened to time up perfectly that they switched over to their Christmas decorations. So we're gonna have breakfast, check out the Christmas decorations, probably try a cake slice, even though it's 7.45 in the morning. And then, uh, like I said, take a stroll over to Epcot. And here it is, the Cake Bake Shop, right next to the entrance of Epcot's World Showcase. So that's why we're going to go to Epcot afterwards. And I am so excited to try the breakfast here. It's only available from 7 a.m. till 10.30 a.m. And then they switch to lunch and dinner. And I think they might be doing tea and brunch eventually. But the bakery's open and you can just walk in and grab single items like cake slices, maybe croissants. But I want the full experience. And I got a reservation on the My Disney Experience experience app but you can get reservations on open table i noticed that they're doing them there too and uh yeah we're gonna dive on in and check out all the christmas decorations i can already tell that this is gonna be such a festive spot to come during the holiday season if you guys haven't had a chance to watch my lunch and dinner video here for Cake Bake Shop, you should go back and watch it, especially if you uh, are curious enough to come try eating here. Uh, but I, I like the food for lunch and dinner. I thought it was very good. I know a lot of people don't like the prices. There was a lot of pushback on the prices. Uh, but, I mean, they're average Disney prices. The burger that I got here for lunch and dinner was the same price as the burger I would get over at Beaches and Cream. And for breakfast... Uh, uh, I looked over the menu real quick, and it looks like it's like $15 to $25 per entree. They have some more pricey things, but like French toast, pancakes, waffles, those are all like $17 to $20. And I'm excited to try. I, I at least want to get more than one thing, you know what I mean? I want to get one breakfast item, and I wanted to try a cake slice because, I mean, it's in the name. Uh, but I think it might be too early. But luckily enough, they do have breakfast cake slices. They have like, you know, uh, blueberry, like, uh, roll and they have a, uh, I think it's a banana bread and a couple of other like traditional breakfast like breads. Uh, so maybe we'll get a bread and uh, maybe a little uh, breakfast. The inside of the restaurant is all decorated for Christmas. Take a look at this. So elegant. I love all of the white lights. This room is filled with those like crystal chandeliers hanging from the ceiling there they've got polar bears and then this room over here is like their main room and they have like animatronics on the top look at that <laughs> it looks so fancy isn't it beautiful it's also playing some beautiful christmas music in here and it's quiet enough that you can hear it it's kind of like the rainforest cafe but with the uh, polar bears and holiday decorations i kind of like it look at the little reindeer up there and santa i love that they add like a little decoration if we're going to epcot i'm gonna need some coffee so i'm glad we got some and i just love the inside of this restaurant it's so fancy and elegant pinky up and here is a look at the menu. They have a lot of great items. They have cinnamon toast brioche bites. It's a, like a little appetizer. $23.99. And then they got waffles, French toast, pancakes. I think I'm doing French toast today. For starters, I ended up getting the banana orange bread. And it has a nice cream cheese frosting on there. Tons of walnuts. And it's hit with some orange zest. And it looks pretty good. I think it's one of those round cakes. Looks like they took a little pizza slice right out of the round cake. That's what I, I kind of like it, though. 
they do have an appetizer on the menu. It's like cinnamon bites, but since I'm getting French toast, I didn't want to get two cinnamon things. Instead, I opted for the banana, and I think we're gonna dive in. Should I knock it over though? Tilt it over like this? Nope. Just because I want to get a little bit of the icing and everything in one bite, you know? There it is. This is really, really good. I can taste the orange zest on there, but I can also get banana and walnuts. I like it. I like it a lot. It also would be good if it was French toast. Oh, can you imagine banana bread French toast? And it goes good with the coffee too. Enough of the banana bread business. Take a look at this French toast. It looks so beautiful. I don't know why this is like, this is probably the best looking French toast I think I've ever seen. Just the way the plate presentation is. You got berries, sugar, syrup, and look at it. It's like so good. I cannot wait to dive into it. This French toast, like I said, looks so good. And they use, I think, Vermont maple syrup. Kind of make like a little maple syrup slide here with my French toast. Look at that. Oh, I am so excited to try it. That is some good French toast right there. Absolutely love it. Very eggy, very cinnamony, light and fluffy. You can see the bread. Look, it honestly looks like it's falling apart. I really like this a lot. This might be my favorite French toast at Disney because I don't like French toast that much, but I mean, this one's impressing me. It's impressing me a lot. I'm happy that I decided on getting this because it was a toss up between this and the pancakes because the pancakes look pretty cool and they're gluten free, but wow, I, I would come back and get this again, hands down. I mean, I'm going to recommend it too to other people. I'm just going to sprinkle this syrup right on there. I don't like a lot of syrup, just a little bit of syrup. Not a lot, just a little bit, you know? And it's just fun sitting in here, listening to the Christmas music, seeing the lights, eating some French toast. I was talking to the cast member that's serving me, and she told me that they actually soak the bread in orange juice and Grand Marnay, and then toast it up. And it is so good. It is so flavorful. It's probably the most unique tasting French toast I've ever had, because it's got like a different texture to it. And it's got so much more flavor than just cinnamon vanilla and maple like you normally would see inside of a french toast and i like it like i said i think you can already tell i'm a fan my only issue is now i'm full i've had banana bread and i've already polished off two pieces of this french toast i got two more left and if we're going to epcot i can't carry around french toast all day so i'm gonna try to pack it in i'm gonna try to pack it in Sadly, though, I think I have to throw in the towel. I can't finish that last piece. Even though I want to, we still have to go walk around World Showcase. And I'm happy we are because we need to work off all the calories. <laughs> well, breakfast was amazing. I really did enjoy that French toast. And I like the banana bread. I just like the French toast more. And it was very cool sitting in there. I always, like I said, I just think it's fancy. Everything from the high chairs to the lights to the art. Uh, but uh, now I think we're going to walk over to Epcot. Like I said, this is such a cool experience. Come out for breakfast, head over to Epcot, hang out. It's just kind of cozy just hanging around the Boardwalk Resort itself. Epcot is literally just a minute walk from the cake bake shop and you can park here at the boardwalk as long as you have a confirmed dining reservation and uh, like I said I already came here this morning sometimes they do uh, restrict the parking just for people that are dining here and people that are staying here and you could still come and visit you just got to use some of Disney's transportation either the boats or the Skyliner or anything like that I'm not even too sure what I want to do in Epcot. I just like hanging out and, you know, walking around World Showcase. I would love to ride some rides, and we're kind of close to rope dropping, so the wait time should be pretty low. Maybe we could do the American Adventure. Rope drop the American Adventure. I used to love doing that when I used to, I, I actually, I, I remember I used to go to Magic Kingdom, and I used to rope drop, like, because at that time, everyone wanted to ride Seven Doors Mine Train, but I used to rope drop People Mover, and it was so fun. I just love going and hanging out. And just like that, we are in Epcot. And honestly, looks a little busy. I'm seeing a lot of people up there on that bridge there. But I did notice that they put out some Christmas decorations over at World Traveler here. And uh, I thought I was hearing like some nice Christmas music when I was walking in. But I think that was just regular old World Showcase music. They kind of hit the same. 
Epcot is the only park that waits until after Thanksgiving before they officially start their Christmas festivities or their Christmas festival, festival of the holidays. I think the opening day for that is uh, November 29th. Every other thing, like uh, you know, Magic Kingdom's already doing the party, Hollywood Studios, Jollywood, and uh, Animal Kingdom even has all of Santa Claus, like old Dinoland decorated. But uh, what do you guys think? Do you think it's too early for Christmas? Do you think Epcot's doing it right? Starting after Thanksgiving. The Christmas teapot is out here in the United Kingdom Pavilion. And I'm probably betting that they at least have to have some of the Christmas tree up already. We're going to find out. I'm going to walk over there just so we can see. The only thing Epcot is offering now is just the decorations for Christmas. Like nothing happens until, like I said, after Thanksgiving. But I wonder if Living with the Land has their uh, Christmas like overlay. Sometimes they have it like set up because it takes time and they don't close down the ride. So maybe we'll uh, make a, a stop at Living with the Land and uh, see if they uh, switched over yet. I've got eyes on the Christmas tree. I love this Christmas tree. I think it's so beautiful. And Epcot, I think, is the only park that has two Christmas trees. They have this one right here, and uh, they have one back in America. And that's good, because two's the perfect num like number. You don't want to have a couple two tree trees, you know? Another really awesome thing about this Christmas tree is that it has ornaments from every country around world showcase It has like a little like ornament with the flag on it. you see Canada You can see Mexico there and also it has little strips that let you know how to say happy holidays in each country And I think that's kind of cool and I can't wait to see it lit up at night We'll be back for opening day uh, of festival of the holidays right now I think uh, like I said, maybe we'll make our way over to living with the land I'm not going to be able to spend as much time as I would like here today only because I have to get home and I have to pack and get ready because I'm traveling tomorrow and I'm doing something really cool and I can't wait to show you guys. I'll probably post a video in the next couple of days so be on the lookout but I do like I said want to ride rides at least maybe check on living with the land because like I said they do a holiday overlay but I'm not even sure if it's happening or not but you know, that's not the only reason you need to, to ride living with the land. I still like riding the ride but uh so I think well, maybe we should go check the wait times and see how busy it is because it was really crowded when we walked into World Showcase. So the wait times might be a little high. I'll have to check. Here is a look at the wait times. Remy's Ratatouille Adventure is 50 minutes. Frozen, 60 minutes. Mission Space, 10 minutes. I think all the virtual queues are gone for uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. But I want to know what living with the land is. I don't see it on here. Oh, 15 minutes. Soren's only a 35 minute wait. Ah, oh, well, maybe we'll just head on into the land then. I love the land pavilion. It kind of reminds me of a high school cafeteria, but it has so much to offer. You can watch Awesome Planet and learn about the environment. You can ride Living with the Land, which what that's what we're going to do. A nice little boat ride. You got Garden Grill, the restaurant that rotates. You got Soren down here and a lot of like other like just fun interactive things. And it's like so cool just to come hang out in here and get out of the sun. But now I think we're going to go over to living with the land because it looks like it's starting to get busy over there i'm trying to rush over to living with the land because i don't want it to go up in wait times right now it said it was 15 minutes so maybe it still is oh looks like we got here just in time it hasn't went up yet but the line looks like it's getting longer 15 minutes we got the front row it's time to live with the land Of all the forces at work on the land, 
humans have had one of the most profound effects. It doesn't look like they have the lights up for the holiday season. Usually this is all lit up in like multicolored lights. But uh, we'll be back. We'll be back for the opening day. Welcome to our living laboratory where scientists from Epcot and the U.S. Department of Agriculture are exploring innovative ways to produce valuable harvests now and into the future. Some, like the water lily, thrive in wet, swampy areas and waterways. All parts of this plant, even the spatter dock, are edible. The That's a new one. The plant has long more than 50,000 edible plant species in the world. Most of us are only familiar with the handful that make up our everyday diet. The common grains growing here, wheat, maize, sorghum, and millet, plus rice, account for nearly two-thirds of our global food consumption. Oh, they're but doing a behind-the-seeds the tour back there. Is an important goal of it's human. The future of agriculture may include innovative ideas like this vertical growing system. Plants grown in this way use a fraction of the space required by traditional growing methods. That saves water and increases production. The aquaponic system on your left combines hydroponics with aquaculture. The fish provide a natural source of fertilizer for the plant. That was so relaxing, exactly what I needed. Nothing like waking up early, going for breakfast, and then riding, living with the land, and walking around Epcot. That sounds like a very productive day. Well, a very fun productive day. Now, I think we're gonna start making our way back to World Showcase. Also, sad that uh, the uh, Living with the Land didn't have the holiday overlay yet. So we'll have to wait and come ride it again uh, November 29th, or whenever I get here. I don't even know if I'll be here or actually on opening day. I might be back afterwards, but I'll come and make a video as soon as possible. I am going to miss the Food and Wine Festival when it ends and then starts uh, the Festival of the Holidays. But I think my favorite thing this year has been the Harvest Hollow. I just love seeing all the pumpkin decorations and there's so many good booths just along this walkway here. I was thinking about stopping and grabbing some food and wine items before it's like over, but I'm still full from breakfast. So I think we're just gonna walk on out and make our way back over to the boardwalk and maybe check on the Christmas decorations there and then go home, see Gracie girl and get packed up for my big trip. And I'll talk about my you know, uh, big trip coming up or later on in the video. Especially considering that it's so busy here right now. I don't know if I can zoom in well on this camera, but just look up there. Holy moly, that's a lot of people. We didn't get a full lap in at World Showcase, but we did get to ride Living with the Land, and that's an accomplishment on its own. And like I said, I kind of want to go look at some of the uh, Christmas decorations at the boardwalk on the way out. The lobby's usually very nice, and I love all the resort like Christmas decorations. Even Beach Club and Yacht Club, they have a lot of cool things going on over there, too. We made it back up to the lobby, and look how cozy it is in here. I love the garland, and I love the Christmas trees, and they've got a gingerbread boardwalk over here, like a gingerbread house. Oh, I didn't notice it, but you got Mickey and Minnie actually in there making little gingerbread men. I think that's cool. Goofy over here. Oh, they have all the characters up in the window. Can you believe this is all made out of gingerbread? They even have the deli fountain down there. Oh, they actually have a fun fact list over here. 84 pounds of whole rye flour, 22 gallons of honey, 42 pounds of powdered sugar. That's a lot. And 210 hours of decorating by our bakery elves. See, I love the holiday season. You can sit here and just uh, relax on the cozy chairs with the fireplace. And you can even buy some of the gingerbread that this is made out of. They have like a little snack stand over here. Here's a look at some of the snacks you can get. They got a wheat-friendly gingerbread shingle, a Mickey caramel corn cookie, peppermint bark, a holiday Mickey sugar cookie. They even have cocoa down here and a uh, gingerbread loaf. I, like I said, I already had my sweets for the day of breakfast, but I thought it was cool and worth showing you. And now I think uh, we're going to go head home and check on Gracie girl. You know, I'm kind of glad that I decided I'm wearing the hoodie. 
Uh, earlier it was super cold and then this afternoon it started getting a little warmer because it usually does like around like 11, 12 o'clock. But now we're dropping back down. It's getting to like the 60s. And they even say that maybe uh, tonight it might go down to the 50s. But the place I'm going for the big trip, it's going to be a lot colder there. There she is, the most beautiful dog on earth. Answer the call. Crazy girl, what are you doing? Huh? You just hanging out here? Yeah, you look at, this is how she lays on the couch. What a little stinker. <laughs> yeah, what a pretty girl. Now that we're home, like I said, I got to pack up and get ready uh, to go on a little trip. And I also wanted to show you some of the cool uh, decorating I did since the last time I showed you around the house. I, I show uh, slowly but surely want to start getting all of my, you know, Disney memorabilia and cool pieces of like theme park, like, you know, history uh, put up in the house so that I can look at it every day. Because that's why we collect things. I mean, I collect things because whenever I look at something I, I immediately get like happiness out of it it gives me something seeing you know what I mean like these Disney pictures on the walls and I'll I'll talk about those too because they're not they're not pictures they're actually movie posters Gracie's sitting in her normal spot over there she loves this corner that's why I put her bed there and her bed's so fancy but take a look at what I started hanging up in my house I got these uh movie poster or cards uh for the original uh like Disney films isn't that so cool like look at this Walt Disney Sleeping Beauty now in seven millimeter and stereophonic sound and I got a couple of them I met a guy he uh he he uh, owned a movie theater and uh, he sold it off and then he was selling all the stuff because he kept it. Here's an original Alice in Wonderland in Technicolor. That's so cool. Like, I think it's like perfect. And I have them now scattered all around the house. I got Mary Poppins over here. I think that one's so bright and fancy. And then where Gracie's sitting, this is like I said, this is her favorite little spot. So I put the 101 Dalmatians right here. Isn't it so cool? I just love the way it says Walt Disney's 101 Dalmatians. Technicolor. It's like a fancy. Oh, and I got a couple more. I might as well show you. I don't know why this turned into like a house kind of tour vlog, but I just kind of get excited whenever I hang up any memorabilia and I, I always like to show you guys. And I, it's kind of cool because I've been making these videos for several years now and for people that have been watching for a long time, uh, most of them have seen me like purchase some of these things. You know what I mean? They've seen me make videos going out and checking out awesome antique shops and like the Lakeland Antique Mall or forever vintage and like seeing me personally like shop for stuff that I'm looking for and be able to make that into an entertainment that you guys get to watch it's like a pleasure so thank you guys so much and it, as long as you want to keep watching I'll keep on showing you know what I mean I, I just think it's so cool and I just want to include you guys in a part of that this is an original Disney animation from the film 101 Dalmatians. And it's kind of cool. The reason I like this is because these are kind of rough uh, concepts of what Pongo was going to look like. He had a way different face structure, kind of like more bulkier. And uh, it's kind of cool to see like, ideas like what if pongo looked like this it looks like a different dog like especially this like down here like just the shape in general i'm happy with the way that uh the 101 dalmatians came out though but i still think it's a really cool piece of disney history and then look i got this cool phone over here i had this in the old house but i put it here Oh, <laughs> I don't have any kind of like theme going on, but I know I want to show a lot of like my Dalmatian, like 101 Dalmatian memorabilia. So I just started putting up those pictures and then I decided to kind of make this other living room uh, like a colorful, like kind of World's Fair themed. And I got some really cool, I got some cool memorabilia and stuff that I have hanging up that you've probably seen in the past videos or in my old house and uh, two new things that I think are kind of cool kind of fits the theme you know here is my 
other living room i i one of the rooms was supposed to be a dining room but like i don't do much like formal dining even though i want to have like a kind of like a house party where i invite my friends and cook dinner but like i don't I, I don't think i need a dining room table so i decided to have like two living areas and this is kind of like just a lounge area i got the playstation there and you know you can hang out you got the swively chairs my mom got me new pumpkin uh pillows because uh before i had like the pick uh the mickey pumpkin ones and she sent me these in the mail just the other day so i had to put them out but here's the other wall i was talking about i got this cool retro 1964 1965 world's fair advertisement and like it kind of makes sense because it's like fair themed and then i have the uh original post uh like uh posters for the dumbo the movie right here you can see, and then I have another one over there. And I, like I said, I just like the way that it looks. And I like that they say Technicolor. You know what I mean? I, I just think it's so fancy. And then everything's fair and like colorful. So that's why I got the Space uh, Mountain Contemporary artwork up there. So like I mentioned, I'm going to be traveling tomorrow to somewhere really cool that I'm going to be making a video and I'm going to be showing you. I can't say much now, but it's something a lot of people have been wanting me to do for a while. Uh, but as soon as I get back from that, uh, we're going to be at the Orlando Informer Meetup uh, November 23rd. So if anybody's going to the Informer Meetup, I hope you come and say hi. I'm going to be there from like 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. between uh, the walkway and between you. Universal and uh, Islands of Adventure where the old Nickelodeon Studios is and if you want to buy tickets I think some are still available I'll put a link in the description and I think you get like $10 off your order uh, but also I have something else really cool that I'm going to be doing soon and that's a magical night of hope it's the third or fourth annual I can't remember we've been doing it since Donna's living room and it's so awesome and I'm so happy to be a part of it again this year uh, it's uh, basically held by Corey meets world uh, I'll put a link uh, for his Facebook or YouTube in the description and uh, we raise money for give kids the world and uh, every year I've read a book uh, kind of like as like a uh, a storytelling or a story time with Nate. Um, I never, uh, I, I, I've never been like very talented with like music or anything like that. And uh, these guys put on such an amazing performance. Josh from Resort TV One will be there. Yeehaw Bob. I mean, there are so many great uh, individuals participating in this event uh and it's such a beautiful like holiday thing uh so like they're very talented musicians they sing beautifully Corey sings amazingly so when they asked me to be a part of it i was like i don't know if i can do anything uh and uh they were like why don't you just read a book and honestly like i said I, i'm the, I, i'm not the biggest reader in life I, i'm not i have I, I don't read really well uh but um just to like be a part of something like that I was like okay yeah I'll do it so uh, it's now a tradition that I go and it started in Donna's living room and I uh, dinners with Donna and I just read a book and it was live streamed uh, but now it is at Give Kids the World Village uh, this is the second year or maybe the third uh, that it's at the village itself and um, you can actually come and be in attendance it's gonna to be uh, something that you can buy a ticket to uh, and then it's also going to be live broadcasted and uh, there's going to be an auction where we're going to auction off some stuff. I have some shirts that I'm going to be uh, donating to the auction along with Roosevelt's. They're going to be sending out some shirts so uh, it's it's like I said it's such a great thing for a great cause and it's really amazing. Uh, so uh, I'll put all the information of where you uh, can watch where the auction is going to be at like the site. Uh, I'll put all the information in the description below if not i'm sure if you just want to google a magical night of hope uh with cory meets world you'll find it and it's going to be a lot of fun so that was what i wanted to tell you i know it's got a lot I, I got a lot coming you know i got a lot of cool things uh in uh store for the next couple of weeks and uh like i said the one thing i think a lot of you guys are going to be happy uh and kind of shocked that it's going on but uh yeah so that's a uh, i guess that's about it <laughs> Gracie says, thanks for watching too. Oh, look, she has a little Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer.
So now I think we are done here for the day, but I had a lot of fun gotten to check out the cake bake shop and uh, trying the breakfast there. The French toast was amazing and uh, I would definitely go back again. Like, you know, I think, I think it's probably, probably top three breakfast spots for me right now because of the location, location most importantly, uh, and I mean, the food was really good and I love the atmosphere. It's very cozy. It's very welcoming. Uh, so uh, let me know uh, what you guys think. And I hope you enjoyed the video because I enjoyed making it. So uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.